Hello everybody, welcome back to Forest River. It's been a while. Um, as you guys saw prior to this video, had some time lapses that I got recorded over the past couple of weeks. And uh, just finally got around to uploading them. Um, so you're seeing this video on Saturday, the... Uh, 31st of August, I'm recording this on Monday, the 26th, um, so there is a chance that at the time you're seeing this, we are finished combining, uh, we're hoping to be done by Friday, but, uh, so hopefully soon videos will come back in full force for a little while. But anyhow, we're going to jump right into it today. So we are on July 3rd. And we take a look here. Our oats are ready to combine. But we have nothing ready. Uh, so we're going to work on that today. Um, we'll take a little walk around the farm here. See what we got going on. So after finishing up... Um, Actually, let's walk over there. After finishing up our first cutting of hay, we have 48 bales. After I hauled them all home, I went ahead and spread lime and sprayed some liquid fertilizer on all of our hay ground to hopefully get a uh, good yield again on second cut, which I believe... If we take a walk back here, let's take a look. Um, we're almost ready. I think in August we'll be ready to do our next cutting. So we will get to that. Uh, we've got the conditioner, the rake, the tether, and the baler all sitting back here. We are going to need to rob this tractor. So let's get everything unhooked here. We need to get this hooked up on the auger. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think... Do, do, do. I think we're going to fill our hopper bin first. Or I think we're going to fill the hopper bins first. Okay, there we go. Let's get things hooked up correctly here. Um... So, we're going to fill the hopper bins with the oats. I'm trying to remember here. Did I lease a... Okay, I did not. was not sure if I leased a drive-over conveyor or not. So, let's get the lid opened up. So, I did do some looking after uh, seeing a different video. So, if I walk up here, we have the option to turn on and off the fan. But if I walk back just a little bit, we have activate dryer. So, the bins, and it's on all of our bins, we can actually put in wet grain and dry it down. Uh, we don't need to on our oats. Those are plenty dry. Um, they went from 23 moisture to 10, uh, in a day, so, um, definitely don't need to dry that at all, but, uh, yeah, so we do, do have the ability, though, to dry our grain should we need to. Let's get this guy put up. On our bin here. Let's go up a bit. Perfect. We should be good there. 
get our swing out swung in here. Okay, auger is set up. Um, let's see here. We need to go in this shed. Let's get this door open. And let's get the combine out. Now, I gotta remember how I finagled this thing in here. Uh, I think. Let's make sure that we don't hit anything here. Back into a truck. It's a tight fit in here, folks. Tight fit. Let's go ahead and swing in that auger. Very, very tight fit to get it in this shop. But it does fit, so that's all that matters. So, we can get this guy, we're just going to probably bring it, we'll just get it out for right now. So let's actually back it up right over here. Okay, there's that. Uh, somewhere is my pickup, oh, way down here. So we need this guy, apparently I forgot to ever come back and get this to bring it home. Sunflowers are looking pretty good though. Uh, we are going to drop this because we do have the uh, fuel trailer on. So we're going to actually take this and drop it over... Uh, let's see, we're going to take it down to our second oats field our smaller oat field here and uh, we're gonna just park it off to the side out of the way I believe next month we'll also probably start chopping some silage that'll probably be our next task after uh, we finish our small grains here All right, let's go get our grain head. So we'll leave that trailer sit. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll go get our grain head, get it brought to the field. Um, actually, we'll have Jim bring the pickup. We'll bring the combine over. That way he can just pull up um, right behind us. And then we can back into the field approach, get the header hooked up on the road. And then we're going to cut a nice little spot out um, before we lift the chopper. Go ahead and get the doors opened up. I believe the draper, okay, the draper is on the side, but we should, or I guess I shouldn't say draper, but uh, pretty sure our grain head, we should be able to get it out uh, without having to move any other headers. Oh yeah, we got room for days, folks. Room for days. Oops. Not quite room, though, to get out of the building without hitting a tree. I'm going to have to cut a couple more of them back. 
Okay, we're going to close the building up because it's going to be a while before we're back over here in this building. So, we won't be back in it until after uh, bean harvest, probably. trying to think here what we could do is we could just drop this off yeah no because we got to cut a nice patch out for trucks and grain cart all that stuff we need some room and we're going to be needing to run back and forth with the head with the uh, pickup anyways here so because I think once we get the header on we're probably gonna bring the head trailer back to the yard and then uh, just unhook it here and we'll move fields actually no we can just go unhook it over by our cornfield there so let's jump in this guy here We'll take this. We're going to have Jim jump in the pickup here. Let's get him lined up and everything set and ready to go. Alright, so Jim will follow us. Let's take this guy. Sure we can fit through here. Jim cut it a little close there. Okay, so I think if we back in. Let's, uh, let's get this unstrapped. Okay, so I'm thinking we can just back this in on the approach. And let's get this guy hold up here Okay, and we're just going to set her down, and uh, we'll shut it down for the moment. Actually, yeah, we could have left it run, but we're going to run this down to the field here. And just bring Jim with us, because we're going to have him be there once we... Uh, start a test cut make sure everything's dialed in for him and all that and then uh, before we turn him loose in the combine we're gonna um, have him help us bring everything else over so that way we can get everything moved I think we're just gonna use the two semis for right now I don't think we're going to uh, bring the grain trucks over. So we really shouldn't need them. We should be able to uh, take care of everything with just the two semis. Or we could even bring just the grain trucks, but... We'll try it uh, with just the two semis and the grain cart, and then after that... If we have to bring something else over, we can. All right, let's. 
let's pull this off to the side here. All right, and let's jump in here. Um, we want no straw for the moment. Okay, let's kick the combine on. Gotta unfold the header. Oh, we forgot to put the snouts on. Okay, why does nothing want to turn on here? Oh, duh. That might help. That just might help. Okay, there we go. Now we should be uh, good. Let's see here. That's that. Uh, that's our height control. What's this? Okay, we don't need that. Our reel is quite slow, though. Go ahead and drop our cruise control down. Alright, let's. Give this a whirl. Alright, what's going on here? What are the settings at for... turn our reel up first and then we need to find our I think it's all the way at the bottom of this page here combine experience normal Okay, let's get ourselves a nice little uh, patch cut out here. Wow. These are some good uh, yielding oats, that is for sure. Goodness. We might be filling a few hopper bins here, folks. We're almost half full, and all I'm trying to do is cut out a patch. Oh, goodness. Okay, well... I guess these are some uh, very, very good oats that we are cutting here. Okay, we'll do these couple little bits here yet. Let's 
straw is a little tough yet, but our moisture is good. We're at uh, ten and a half, so we're we're definitely dry. That is uh, no concern. That is for sure. strip right here and then we'll get everything else moved over just about a full combine just from doing this goodness so what we're gonna do here we're gonna swing out the auger. All right. Let's go fire up the versatile and get the uh, grain cart over here. trucks moved as well. And yeah, if things are going to keep up the way that they are just from that, we are going to have a lot of oats. Probably going to fill all three hopper bins off of just those two fields there. So, let's get this guy out of here. going on here. Oh yeah, we gotta maneuver a little bit here. There we are. Let's see here. I think Jim went to go fire trucks up or something. Let's just get this lined up for him here. So he, he is ready. Oh no, there he is. Must have ran in the house. See him coming. this big dog over. We should have probably put some fuel in it. I'd never put fuel in it after we parked it this spring. That's okay though. We'll get her uh... If she starts getting low, we'll just run it over to the fuel trailer there or back into the yard, one of the two. snake by here with the trucks so we'll just let that sit there for right now and let's go start some trucks up So we gotta fire this guy up. 
which never got a bath after uh, winter hauling, which is okay though. Let these guys warm up. Let's see here. Can grab the uh, Kenworth here. Let's see. Can we snake? Actually, we might have to grab the other truck first. Let's, let's get this uh, general out of here. This guy's kind of in the way to uh, get the other one out. Let's get some AC going up in this thing. Okay, um, let's see here. I'm gonna get these two trucks moved over to the field quick. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, get Jim going on his way. And uh, we'll start getting some grain moving. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, so we got trucks lined up over here, and as you can see, Jim is making his way down the field, so uh, we're just going to follow him around here, wait for him to get full, which I see he is uh, <laughs> already getting there so we might be bringing the grain trucks yet we'll see uh, just so that way we can unload a little longer but we're gonna take a look here and see any oats on the ground so that's good crop looks excellent And, uh, yep, Jim is already full over there. So we're going to let him uh, cut himself over. We'll get him unloaded and then uh, probably call it a day. And then we'll uh, give it a little time. We'll get the headlands knocked off here and uh, make sure all the settings are all dialed in correct. Make sure everything's ready to rock and roll, and then we'll uh, jump on into it here. So let's get him unloaded here. Hopefully we're close enough. Come on. It's darn auto save. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting them unloaded. And then I think we'll have enough for a truck, most likely. So then, uh, We'll quick run over and uh, get one loaded up. Let's take a, oops, take a gander here. So we're a little short to load a truck, but we are getting kind of full in the cart here, so we are going to run this over and unload it anyways, because I think our trailers are 
700 and some bushel. So, let's get our auger folding out here. And then we'll uh, dump it on our first truck here. See how far we can get it loaded. And there is the first bit going in. So right now we're at uh, 10.9 on moisture. So we just about filled the truck. It's most of the way full. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Like I said, we're gonna finish off these headlands and then we'll come back when we're on our ups and downs and uh, we get everything moving correct and smooth. So, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in and uh, hope you all are enjoying the series. If you are, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series if you have not already. And then uh, we'll catch you all in the next video.